and I'm driving, I'm doing 100, 120, 130. And then I'm like, yo, I wonder how fast this thing could go. <laughs> All right, so a lot of people have been asking me about this story that I've made some comments about on other people's videos, and this is like a cop interaction video because that's like a hot thing now for some strange reason. But um, yeah, so there was a time that I got pulled over doing somewhere between 140 and 150 um the cop like clocked me in doing like 124 134 something like that but um this was like after i slowed down so yeah but um I'm gonna get into the backstory and what actually happened like through the progression of this thing because what actually happened and what I assumed was gonna hap happen are two completely different things and it's actually pretty crazy if I do say so myself just by the fact of like I've heard other people with similar stories have way way worse outcomes so if anything you can count this as a win but yeah let's get into it so for a lot of people in new england especially massachusetts boston um back in the day like 2009 through 2013 ish um there wasn't really any 18 plus clubs in Boston. It was a lot of the a lot of the places were like 18 plus for women, 21 plus for men, things like that. But um, usually the women who are 18 plus had male friends who were 18 plus, and everybody wanted to go out together. So the thing was to go to Providence, Rhode Island, which is about 45 minutes away from Boston, depending on where you live and whatnot. But it's not far. And it was open later, I believe, like, back in the day, it was, like, Boston events, like, would end around, like, well, they still do end around, like, 1.30, and then 1.45 is, like, when they actually start, like, kicking everybody out the club and everything like that. And, um, back then, I believe Providence used to be done at, like, 3, maybe 4. I believe it was 3, though. So, like, and there was, you had an extra hour. So, the whole thing was to, like, you pregame in the car, and um, on the drive out there, you guys turn up a little bit and then you're pumped up, your blood's running, you're already having fun in the car and whatnot in that little in that little drive. And then you go in the club, you have fun, you come home. So um, I'm trying to remember like how this happened. So basically, um, at this time, we had a... 2006 honda odyssey minivan i know i'm not gonna find any pictures of that but if i can i'll put one up and at that time i don't remember but i believe like i, I used to drive that all the time because even still to this day my mother doesn't really drive so um i always had that um vehicle and then oh no now that i think about it okay so i had um at this time, because I was thinking earlier, but I forgot this is the 150 mile an hour ticket thingy, whatever. So, at this time, I had a Toyota Corolla, the 94 Corolla, and I believe I do have a picture of this, so if I do, I'll put it up. And I ended up getting this car for, like, $90 from, like, a friend of my father's. So, um, I, I bought this car, um... I don't believe I had a license yet when we got it, but when I got the ticket, I did have a license because I ended up um, getting pulled over without a license, and I'll tell that in another video because that's also a pretty great story about a time that I went to jail. But um, so yeah, um, I had a 94 Corolla, I believe it was 94, 
and I had like, this was the first car that I've ever done anything to. It was also the first car that I had. So um, I did some like wheels. It was like 18s, 19s or 20s. I don't even remember. But um, my dad, who's the reason I'm into cars and whatnot, um, he, we went, we bought some wheels for the car. We put them on the car. It was pretty cool. Like I was driving around in that car. And then, um, so my dad was doing me a favor and he ended up taking the Corolla and bringing it to get an oil change or something for me because I believe I was, I don't remember what I was doing. But right before he pulled into the driveway, somebody rear-ended it. So um, they rear-ended it and the exhaust like moved forward or whatever. And then like the bumper moved forward. So like the back doors were scratched. The back bumper was scratched. The back trunk was scratched. And then the, like the muffler like, broke and hit the front bumper so the person who hit the car their insurance ended up having to repaint the entire car and that car ended up um getting sold and when we sold that car my dad was like all right we're just gonna get something cooler so that's how we got to me having to us having the clk the mercedes clk 320 because that $90 car got hit, and then when it got hit, it had a fresh paint job, and we sold that car, and we got the CLK320. The thing about the CLK320 and the thing about Mercedes, I don't know if they still do this, but they have, like, two spark plugs per bank. So the way those cars accelerate, it's actually pretty, they're, like, for a six-cylinder, that car was a very quick car, because I had, like, a, um, a Lexus SC400, and both of those cars felt about the same speed. And the L the SC four hundred is a V eight. So like back then, let me get back to the whole clubbing partying thing. So back then, the thing was to go to Providence, and I ended up being late somehow. So my dad was like, "All right, you can take the Benz because I was going to take the Odyssey." Yeah, 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 that's how it worked because we sold the Corolla. I had I used to drive the Odyssey, and then I was going to be late and whatever so i ended up taking the bends this night and since i was late um and my boy also happened to be late i was like i right, um i'll scoop you and we'll go out there and meet everybody who's out there so my thing was to get there and get back in a record time like every time i always wanted to beat my previous thing so like usually it's about like 40 40 it's 45 minutes and my fastest time was like 35 minutes. So like, I wanted to see like, yo, imagine if I could get, get there in like 25 to 30 minutes, like under 30 minutes, especially. So on the way there, we're driving, I'm timing it, blah, blah, blah. I get there like 34 minutes. And that means I'm you're going very fast. Cause this is about 50 miles away on the highway and there's traffic and everything like that. So you, you gotta do a whole bunch to get there and whatever. But, um, we get there, it's cool, my boy's like, yo, you're, you're wildin', blah, 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 but I'm like, whatever, I'm just trying to beat my, beat my high score, like, it's a game or whatever, so, like, we go there, we turn up, whatever, whatever, and then, um, it was a lit night, per usual, it's always lit, and I'm thinking, like, bro, I did, like, 34 minutes, what if I could do, like, 30, and then I'm like, I bet, so, I, we get in the car, I drive off, and as soon as I'm about to get to the highway, I turn the timer on, and I'm driving, I'm doing 100, 120, 130, and then I'm like, yo, I wonder how fast this thing could go, and this is back before I knew anything about tires, speed ratings, or anything like that, and I'm pretty sure those tires were not rated for the speeds I was driving, but, um, man, listen, but anyhow, so we're driving, I'm doing like 130. 30 140 and then the car is still going i'm like damn 150 and as i'm doing 150 the light it's like um there's not not a car on the road but way 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 down on this um on the on the highway i see some lights but it's regular tail lights so i'm like whatever so I'm, i keep going and then like as we approach closer to the car like i see a whole bunch of lights inside and then i get up close enough to the point that i could see that it's a um toyota sienna it's like a like a sand colored toyota sienna so a regular pedestrian looking car 
but I see screens and lights and all types of stuff in there. So I'm like, oh, what the fuck type of Toyota is that? So, and the fact that it's moving. So like I slowed down to about like 100 to 120 and we're both doing about the same speed and I'm looking inside like, bro, what is that? And how is, I didn't think a, to a Toyota C and a minivan could go this fast. So my boy's like, uh, whatever. So I speed up again. And then like a couple seconds later, I see lights, but there's no other lights on the highway besides this Toyota C and a minivan. So I'm like, nah, somebody's got to be joking with me. So I pull over and so I'm thinking it's just whoever's in the car just being stupid and about and just about to play with me. But then, like, you know, when you pull over and then the the cop car pulls over and then he tapped the back. I'm like, there is no way that was a real cop. And lo and behold, it was. He's like, do you know how fast you were going? I'm like, what's the speed limit here? He's like, 60 or 65. I don't remember how much it is on that part. I was like maybe 66 he's like wrong answer and then he's like um you're doing 124 something like that and that's how much i got in a ticket the ticket was like eleven hundred dollars and this time i'm in college one i can't afford a ticket like that two that would like bruh it was crazy so like the rest of the time i'm driving home my boy is like bro like, you could have gotten arrested for that. That's like criminal speeding or whatever. So I'm like, oh, shit, I could have. So I'm glad I just got the ticket. But then I'm thinking, like, how the fuck am I going to pay $1,100? Like, I don't have that kind of money. So, like, I'm here thinking, like, yo, what am I going to say? So the craziest thing about this is, like, um, I dispute the ticket. I pay the 25 bucks. And then I get my letter for the court date and I'm like, all right, by this time I need to come up with a story about like how. So I'm here like, cause I have asthma and everything like that. So I was like thinking I'm about to tell the judge, yo, I was having an asthma attack. I was trying to get home. Um, I needed my inhaler bad, blah, blah, blah. It was emergency, this, that, and the third. So I'm just thinking of all these crazy things. And then like, that is the story that I came up on, like that I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to say to get out of it. And again, for whatever reason, my dad or my parents in general, but my dad, I guess he still trusted me to draw the Benz. So that day he gave me the Benz again to go to my court case. And um, I went and I'm about to park. And then I look into the um, in, like in the parking lot, there's like a space that's specifically for the judge. What's in there? another 2001 CLK 320. The judge has this same car. So I park next to, I park next to it. Cause like, there's like a space in between that's like for somebody else, like the constable or whatever the person is called. And then there's like the rest of the people parking. So it's the judge, the empty constable parking spot. And then there's my car. And then, um, at this point, like the judge, um, I don't know. I don't remember what he was doing, but like he, went to his car and came out and but he like we like made eye contact because we both have basically the exact same car it's just that mine has different wheels because on this car we put a different set of wheels on it and then he was looking at the car for a second like he liked the wheels and then we just made eye contact and then he went inside um i'm sitting because i was early it's like so like in like 20 minutes um i went like inside the courthouse and everything like that lo and behold that same judge was the judge that was judging my court case and the cop ended up not coming so like the judge was like so we have a speeding ticket that's pretty substantial i'm like yeah it can, there's no way it could be right so he's like how fa how fast do you believe you're going so i'm like the speed limit there was like 60 or 65 i'm like i couldn't have been going more than the speed limit i never drive more than the speed limit i'm like so he's like, well, there's nobody here to dispute that. So the best thing I can do for you is one mile an hour over. And he's like, that would be about a hundred dollars speed. That would be about a hundred dollars. Um, how long do you think you would need to pay that? I'm like, well, your honor, um, granted, I do know that, 
um, the car says it's a um, 2001 Mercedes CLK. Um, so it's not an expensive car or anything, but I'm a college student and my father was gracious enough to let me borrow it like whenever I want because, you know, I'm a pretty good kid. I got two jobs. I go to school. I've never really gotten in trouble or anything. So like, yeah, uh, I don't really have any money. Like the money that I go that I'm making is just like, you know, for little things, car insurance and whatnot. And he's like, all right, so. We'll extend it and I'll give you a voucher. So the ticket would only be $50. You have to pay the $50. Um, usually it's 21 days, but we'll give you six. We'll put an extension on it and we'll give you 60 days. Do you think that's fair? I'm like, yeah, that's fair. I believe I can make that happen. Um, I, on my next check or whatever, I'll be able to um just take some money out and pay for that. And then I should be good. And he's like, all right, well, since there's nobody to argue the other side, this is what we're going to do. Um, just make sure you pay that $50 within 60 days and you'll be all set. So I'm playing it calm, cool, and collected, you know. And um, I'm like, thank you, um, thank you, Your Honor. You didn't have to do that. Um, I appreciate I appreciate it all, blah, blah, blah. And then I go out and as soon as I get outside and the door closes, I jump up in the air like, yes! And then everybody's looking at me. I'm like... All right, and then I go over to the desk and I'm like, um, how do I pay this ticket? I was about to pay that right then and there because I was thinking, I'm like, they're, they're probably going to reduce it down to half. Like, I was thinking I was going to go in there and have to pay like maybe $600. So that's how much I took out and it ended up being $50 for the ticket said 124 and the cops notes, they said that he was going, it was like driver was driver was observed doing an excess of 150 miles an hour, blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, for 124 mile an hour speeding ticket, I ended up paying $50. No jail time, no nothing. And that was so surprising because, like, I've heard of people getting pulled over for doing, like, 100, 110, and they got locked up. Like, they had to go to jail. The car got impounded. Um, then they had to, like, get bailed out and do all types of stuff. And I was like, bro, that could have been really bad. But I ended up paying 50 bucks. Reason my insurance went up by a little bit, but... 50 bucks can't beat that the only problem is i never got to beat that um i never got to beat my um record time so the quickest i've ever gotten back was 34 minutes so can't tell if that's a win or a loss